It's the final event of the PGA Tour season, which brings with it a unique format. So let's break down my top options for DFS after accounting for that format at the Tour Championship. In the upper range, I want to build around Scotty Scheffler at $12,900. Scheffler will begin this event at 10 under par thanks to his standing in the FedEx Cup playoffs entering this event. And I don't think the 12-9 fully accounts for how good of a play he is for this week. Scheffler is now 2-1 to one to win this event over at FanDuel Sportsbook. You could potentially still bet him at that number. Scheffler ranks second in Data Golf's true strokes gain across the past six months behind just Rory McIlroy. So you get a very good golfer who beasted out with his irons last week and now is starting this event at 10 under and has a 33% chance to win this event. I think that all adds up to make Scheffler a must play both for cash games and tournaments on FanDuel for this week. In the mid range, I love Matt Fitzpatrick making his first trip to Eastlake, but he is a golfer who should be well equipped to handle it here. Fitzpatrick is a guy who gains strokes off the tee despite not being a bomber because he is so accurate. You've got that going for Fitzpatrick, but also a really good Bermuda putter. He ranks fifth in Bermuda putting across the past 50 rounds per Fantasy National. Fitzpatrick also fifth in Data Golf's True Strokes gaining proc across the past six months, so good overall golfer, has the kind of off the tee game that you want for this week, and should have a good short game as well. Fitzpatrick well positioned despite starting this event at three under to score well throughout the weekend. In the value tier, I want to go towards Aaron Wise, who will begin this event at even par, which is a downside for sure, but Wise has the upside to make up some ground. Wise ranks 11th in strokes gained off the tee the past 50 rounds per Fantasy National. He is 7th in approach and 13th in Bermuda putting. That all adds up to putting Wise 15th in Data Golf's true strokes gain across the past six months. And despite that, Wise comes in 25th in salary on FanDuel for this week. Yes, it is a big downside to have him start starting this event at even par. We're not getting an edge there, but Wise is a guy who can go low, and that scoring does matter as well on Fatal. If he does get those birdies, he will get some finishing points to boot. So Aaron Wise, to me, does come with some risk due to where he's starting this event, but I think he's got the juice to finish well, and I want to take advantage of that by using him here at $7,600. That's all we got here for this week on the FanDuel Hurry Up, the final event of the PGA Tour season. It should be a blast in the Tour Championship. Good luck to you. We'll talk to you once again soon here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.